One. Here we're seeing an example of extracting triples from natural language in real time. If we enter a sentence, today a group of scientists made an amazing discovery. Our program interprets that sentence and extracts triples. Specifically, it's extracted the relationship between the subject scientists, the predicate made, and the object an amazing discovery. We can continue with another sentence. Scientists found a volcano under the ocean. So now the subject is scientists, the predicate is found, but the object is a reified triple, in other words, another statement. So what they found is a volcano that's under the ocean. Next, we'll say the volcano is the size of California. And similarly, the program has extracted another reified statement where the volcano is the size of California. And you can see that the program is linking up entities that it's discovered with an ontology. So it knows that California is a state, uh, volcano and size are nouns, and ocean, coincidentally, is someone's name. Now we'll say, scientists said the volcano is the largest underwater volcano ever discovered. And here you can see that the program has partially extracted a relationship here, but there wasn't a complete rule to extract all the information from the subordinate clause in this case. Next, we'll say the volcano was first seen on satellite images. And similarly, the program has achieved a partial interpretation. We can say the volcano is about five miles below the surface of the water. And again, a partial interpretation. But you can see the graph is building up a, a rep representation of the story where there's a relationship between the elements of the story, the scientists, the volcano, the ocean, and California, and so on. In our last sentence, scientists said the volcano is inactive and does not pose a danger. This illustrates the use of reduction rules where the input sentence was simplified into two simpler sentences. The scientists said that the volcano does not pose a danger, and um, the scientists said that the volcano is inactive. So now we can see the relationships where the scientist is making these statements and that they have um, announced an amazing discovery. So that concludes our demonstration of extracting triples from natural language text in real time.